tonight. From Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. The Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League takes us to the Queen City of Cincinnati and Paul Brown Stadium right on the banks of the Ohio River. This crowd loves their orange and black. The scene just a short time ago, they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. We're ready for football as the Bengals get set to do battle with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Here's Randy Bullock now to put toe to leather, and we are underway from Cincinnati. That's fielded on the back line of the end zone. And here comes Ben Roethlisberger out onto the field ready to lead the Steeler offense. We talk so often about his physical attributes. Of course, the Big Ben nickname, his ability to take hits in the pocket, his ability to extend plays and get outside of the pocket. But how about this for efficiency? Top 10 in career NFL passer rating. He's one of the top five winning his quarterbacks in NFL history. That's pretty darn good. They'll run for the first time with James Conner. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. The good signal calls would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. On fourth down, here comes the Steeler punter Jordan Berry to kick it away. Alex Erickson deep for Cincinnati. Trucks through him. Oh, man, right through him. A very good punt, but a 16-yard return. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Here come the Bengals now to take over. They'll be let out by their quarterback, the former Arkansas Razorback. It's Brandon Allen. And I like what his head coach told us about him this week, that no matter what happens, he, whether he throws seven interceptions or seven touchdown passes, he's the same assertive leader in the huddle on each and every play. He can throw the seven interceptions, just blame the football, blame anything else, and still carry himself like he is the man. It's like you, assertive in our production meetings. Well, especially when we're talking, talking about order and dinner orders. I was and just going to say. That's, that's where I go. One yard gain brings up second and nine. On the draw, here's Bernard. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. That was a terrific play, causing a loss as a middle linebacker simple. You can either fill holes or you can attack them, as he did there. The Steelers now in the nickel here on third down. From the gun, it's Allen. 
And the throw there going to be incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Punting now is Huber as he sends it away. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. A deep ball down that right sideline, and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. Second down, Connor looking for space. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short. So it'll be third and less than a yard. They'll try and run for it with Connor. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. They're able to convert with a gain of four. We all love to have a home run in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance. Short yardage, trying to pick up first downs. Big guy. That is a nice luxury to have, isn't he? From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. Another incompletion there. That's five in a row now to start this game. He's got to take a deep breath now, step back, shake it off a little bit, trust his offensive line, and hope that his play caller dials up something that can give him a completion and get him going. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. carry of the game for Jalen Samuels. And he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough at run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Here's Jordan Berry now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Erickson now to return. Oh, good move. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Bengals will have a first and 10 from deep in their own territory. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. They'll begin here with Bernard. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Sports. Now Bernard. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. 
A gain of three, second down. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They'll run it here with Bernard. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative, but you know me because it's easy to set up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and then think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up because otherwise this defense is just going to gang up on the run and set them down. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get on track in this one. Complete to his tight end sample. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. 21 yards there. A big play on fourth down. That's a call on the watch right there. Nice in breaking route. There's plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now a carry for Bernard. And he will get enough for a first down, and that will lead us to the two-minute warning. That's what I'm talking about. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll check in with our Jonathan Coachman. He'll have highlights and analysis of the first half, and our highlights will likely be on the defensive side of the football here. Scoreless game. It's Big Vince Williams who made the tackle. Brings up second and nine. And now they'll throw with Allen. Try to drop one in, but it's incomplete. Drew Sample, the intended receiver. Third down here. It's now third down and nine yards to go. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. The Steeler defense locked in, forcing an upcoming fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Makes the score. Bengals three. Steelers nothing. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, Parker, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone, just six? And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Take over first and 10. Their own 18. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And in a spot like this, still more than a minute, I think if you put something on the board before halftime, that would go a long way towards helping them get back into the game. There actually is something to the psychology of the game at times, isn't there? How much better would they feel running into the locker room, as you noted, with something on the board in a positive fashion? You're exactly right. It's a great opportunity to get that done. Now the pass finding its way into the hands of Eric Ebron. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. He's going to loft one deep left side here. That's caught inside the 20. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. To throw here, Roethlisberger. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And the Bengals grab it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Giovanni Bernard getting ready to go again. He's been effective so far over the 40-yard mark here in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. 
the leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones who've been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit lower than the guys on the other side of the football, and they've moved them out of the way for the runner. Sometimes that's tough for those big fellas. Not an easy thing for them to do. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Slant pass to Boyd. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Allen going to try and throw on third down. He'll air this one out for... And got his man complete! 20, 10, and all the way in for a Cincinnati score! Tyler Boyd in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bengals add on to their lead. Well, fair to say that when you're looking at guys that can run like the wind, you often find them at the wide receiver position, and that was special there. Well, in this league where coordinators worry so much about drawing up the right routes, blocking assignments, misdirections and stuff, they have these precise arrows and movements. Sometimes the best plays just come from the schoolyard where you look at your fastest guy and say, go long, go get it, big man. And according to Next Gen Stats, his top speed on that one, better than 20 miles an hour. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. The drive there only spanning three plays, and it ends with a Bengals score. Randy Bullock to kick off for Cincinnati. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So the white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So we have reached halftime with our score 10-0 as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Bengals set to receive. They have the lead and the football to begin quarter number three. And able to get this out to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. The Bengal offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Yeah, he's going to take this all the way down to the Steelers' 34. He's a little bit be back for as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards to so just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And according to Next Gen Stats, his top speed on that one, better than 20 miles an hour. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Here's Bernard. 
Stephon Tuitt, the one that got him down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. They're looking for Higgins, but it is intercepted. Picked up by Minka Fitzpatrick. And now look at him go. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. That's tough there. Starting to mount a good drive. Quarterback lets his guard down for just a moment, and it's going to bite him. Yeah, I was just about to remark how controlled the game they were here in this third quarter, but that return for six points, we now have a game again. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Now it's Wilson. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Bengals take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last that didn't bother you too much last time. No, because it's, it's exactly what... Rush coming, and he's taken down. And their inaugural sack of the game coming from an unlikely source. You mean it wasn't a linebacker? It wasn't a defensive end? It was somebody like you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a surprise for the offense. That's not what they normally get when they think about pressure. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Another try after the first down sack. Allen. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 23 yards the pick up there. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now you can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46 yard line. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Tackle made at his 48 yard line. A gain of a yard brings up third and five. A draw play. Bernard. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL. And it's on EA Sports. Here's Kevin Huber now. As he'll punt it away for the second time. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin them back. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field. And their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit 
and take a fourth quarter lead. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. He'll set up to throw from the gun. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way inside the 35 before he goes out of bounds. If there were any concerns about the elbow for Big Ben, I think the evidence there shows us that he's just fine. And from where we said, if you had told me that that ball was somehow going to get from point A to point B, I would have told you no way. I mean, that was an absolute cannon shot, and he still dropped it right on the money, too. And you can see in the next-gen stats, that one 62 yards in the air. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They go draw play. This is Samuels down to the 30 after a gain of three. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Brings up second and seven. From the 30 on second down, Roethlisberger able to hit his target, Claypool. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 17-yard line. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Shotgun handoff to Samuels. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. And they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Now it's Roethlisberger. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit. Even for those big tight ends, who you would think could absorb that contact. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Yeah, he's got it. A great job to hold him to just a yard there. Now it's fourth and goal. Well, you know me pretty well now. You know what I want to do after that completed pass. Fourth down, down by three. What do I want to do here? Yeah, you want to go for it. You might be tempted. I think they need to kick it. Yeah, someone might have to overrule me. Get the kicker out there, tie this game up. So a big kick to get this back to even. Yet now the worry is, did you leave too much time on the clock? Because another field goal the other way, that does you in. You're exactly right. You didn't get into overtime yet. So now as a defense, you've got to think to yourself, you can't play prevent defense and just give up big chunks of yardage in front of you. But you also can't let anyone behind you. So you sit right on the line between the two, play the best defense you can, and not make it easy for them to move the ball downfield. Now Allen. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. That gets him the first down, but they've still got to move quickly here. near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. To throw is Allen. 
And oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. Escapes the defender. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with just 70 seconds left to go in the game. A game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. They'll go to Piran, try to pound it in. And he is in. Touchdown, Bengals. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Bengals have taken the lead. And that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off. Now on the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practiced a two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before, and if you have it, you just have the confidence. Hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But, boy, that's a big score right there to give him the advantage. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. So that drive, four plays, and it's capped off by a touchdown run from Samaj P. Ryan. will send this one away after the touchdown. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. First and 10 at their own 20-yard line. So Big Ben and the Steelers now trailing 17-10. A little over a minute to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Roethlisberger to throw. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. This is where, of course, it's good to have a veteran quarterback under center. You would just be able to put out one of his blood pressure clips, and nothing would be different for him. He's done it many times before, expects to get it accomplished again. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Throwing now is Roethlisberger. He's got a man complete. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A big one there on third down. They hit for 30 yards. Well, dialing up that play call certainly meant that he grabbed a little extra shot of courage on that one because normally on third and short, you're just trying to move the sticks, get the ball just past that line of scrimmage. Instead, they take the big shot downfield, and it pays off. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. He'll look to throw. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And the Bengals grab it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. These defenses have become so opportunistic, and no matter what you're playing, in this case, wide receiver, you got to be careful. I certainly do, because there is a phrase in today's football that we use all the time, completing the process of the catch. Well, it's after you do that where the trouble begins, right? Meaning you've tucked it away, you're trying to get downfield, but someone's always coming up trying to rake it the ball and knock it free. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. The drive starts with a handoff to Bernard. And he roams across the 20 to the 24-yard line. Now the Steelers are going to use their third and final timeout as they stop him with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. Second down and three. Again, here's Bernard. So able to break through the initial contact and then down right near the 25. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Third down, Bernard. 
And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. So this one in the win column now for the Cincinnati Bengals. And I think you'd have to label this an upset. Yes, they were at home, but still an upset. They got the job done. Yeah, even being at home was not enough for people to think they were going to pull this one off. But give them credit for playing not just a smart football game, but one where they were going to be physical about the whole thing. They put up their fists and said, let's fight, and showed their crowd that they were into this one. And then that's the thing. The crowd responded. They were really good in this game. Yeah, they were not going to be pushed around. They were not going to be intimidated. They refused to back down and came away with a victory. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Bengals as we say so long from Cincinnati. <laughs>